All right, guys, we're going to continue looking at factoring trinomials. This time our leading coefficient is something other than a 1. Could have a 2, 3, 4, or in this case a 5. So here we have 5x squared plus 9x plus 4, and we want to find the factors. Now the method that I'm going to be using is called bottoms up, and it requires three different steps. The first step, and I'm going to call that step A, is to rewrite the trinomial as x squared plus 9x plus 20. And how I got that 20 is by multiplying the leading coefficient and my constant, the 5 and the 4. 5 times 4 is 20. So, again, first step, rewrite the trinomial. Now that I have the trinomial rewritten, notice how I have a leading coefficient of 1. So now I'm going to go ahead and factor it as I did in the previous section. We know that we're going to multiply two binomials. To get the x squared, we need to multiply x with another x. x times x is x squared. Now what we're doing is looking for factors of 20 that are also going to add up to a 9. And in this case, those factors are going to be 5 and 4. 5 times 4 is 20, and 5 plus 4 is 9. So, my factors of x squared plus 9x plus 20 are x plus 5 and x plus 4. Now, we're not quite done yet. What we're going to do next is take this 5 and 4 that we've just found, and we're going to divide it by 5. And that 5 is this leading coefficient here. So the first one we have is 5 divided by 5. And of course, 5 divided by 5 would be a 1. Now, if I try and divide 4 by 5, I end up with a decimal. And I don't want that. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to bring that 5 up in front of the x and making this 5x plus 4. And this is why we call this the bottoms up method, because that bottom number is coming up in front of our variable. Therefore, my factors of that trinomial are x plus 1 and 5x plus 4. Again, if I were to multiply these together using some distributive property or FOIL method, the answer I would get is 5x squared plus 9x plus 4. Again, these are the factors. Alright, example number 2. We have 5x squared minus 6x plus 1, and again, we're looking for the factors. I'm going to be continuing looking at the bottoms up method. First thing we're going to do is rewrite the trinomial as x squared minus 6x plus 5. Again, that 5 is coming from multiplying the leading coefficient and the constant, the 5 and the 1. 5 times 1 is 5. And that's my first step. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that x squared minus 6x plus 5, and I'm going to factor it. So to do that, I need two sets of parentheses. I'm going to write two binomials. To get the x squared, we need to multiply x times x. Now what I need to do is find factors of 5 that are also going to add up to a negative 6. And in this case, those two factors or numbers are negative 5 and negative 1. Because if I multiply negative 5 times a negative 1, I get a positive 5. If I add a negative 5 and a negative 1, I get a negative 6. The next thing we're going to do, or the last thing we're going to do, is take these two numbers I've just found, and we're going to be dividing by 5. And that 5, again, is that leading coefficient there. So the first one we have is negative 5 divided by 5, which would be a negative 1. But again, over here, if I try and divide a negative 1 by 5, that results in a decimal, and I don't want that. So what we're going to do is bring that bottom number up in front of the variable, making this a 5x minus 1. Therefore, these are my factors of the trinomial 5x squared minus 6x plus 1. Okay, example number uh, 3. That should be 3. 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. First thing we're going to do is rewrite the trinomial as x squared plus 2x minus 15. Again, negative 15 is coming from multiplying the leading coefficient and my constant. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this trinomial and factor it out. To get the x squared, we need to multiply an x times another x. 
Now I'm looking for uh, factors of negative 15 that are also going to add up to a positive 2. In other words, what numbers can we multiply together to get negative 15 and are also going to add up to a positive 2? In this case, those two numbers are negative 3 and positive 5. If I multiply negative 3 times 5, I get 15, negative 15. And if I add a negative 3 plus 5, I get a positive 2. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and take these two numbers that I've just found, divide them by 3, yeah, that's that leading coefficient. Negative 3 divided by 3 would be a negative 1. Over here, if I try and divide 5 by 3, that would result in a decimal. So we're going to bring that bottom number up in front of the x, making this 3x plus 5. Therefore, these are my factors of 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. Again, if I were to multiply these together, the answer would be 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. Alright, let's take a look at one last example here. 5x squared minus 7x minus 6. First thing we're going to do is rewrite this trinomial as x squared minus 7x minus 30. We're multiplying the 5 times the negative 6 to get that negative 30. Now we're going to factor this trinomial x times x is x squared. Here we need some factors of negative 30 that are also going to add up to a negative 7. Alright, so here we're going to use a negative 10 and a positive 3. If I multiply negative 10 times 3, I get my negative 30. And if I add my negative 10 plus 3, I get my negative 7. Last thing we're going to do is divide that negative 10 and that 3 by 5, that's that leading coefficient. So negative 10 divided by 5 would be a negative 2. And here if I try and divide 3 by 5, that would result in a decimal. So instead we're going to bring that number up in front of the variable, making this 5x plus 3. Therefore, these are my factors of 5x squared minus 7x minus 6.